friends. I'm Ellen. Welcome to my channel, Ellen's Abundant Life on Less. And today we are continuing our 31 day low spend, no spend. And we are on day 18. And day 18, we continue our creative series this week. And um, Today's assignment is to find new uses for old things. So look around your house and see if there are any things that you think you might be able to upcycle or repurpose or recreate rather than going out and buying items when your no spend, low spend is over. Um, we're talking more about creativity today and in the book, it, uh, of course, at the website, there's 21 suggestions for things that you can upcycle. And I don't know if you can see that or not, but you can go right directly to the website. And that is at www, where is it? Here it is, livingwellspendingless.com. LWSZ resources, and that's where you'll find some more ideas. And one of the ideas was um, taking a cookie sheet and making a tray out of it and making some homemade cookies, maybe to share with a friend. That would be a really nice idea if you have an elderly neighbor that would appreciate some home-baked goods, things like that, that would be good. So today, let's see, what else? Um, they have how to make a wine rack out of a rake. They have all kinds of fun things in here. And here's some, pic they have pictures in here too of things that they have upcycled and made into new things. So the other day when I was driving home, at the side of the road, there was a whole slew of furniture and, and things. It looked like it was still in pretty good shape. And they had this sign that said free. So I don't need any more furniture. And really what I have in my house right now the bigger items, I don't really need anything else, but I think it would be a fun project to maybe make some small tchotchkes or combine some things to make something new out of. Or even the clothes you're donating, you can make something new out of those as well. If you're handy at all with sewing, you can upcycle your clothes. I'm going to try to upcycle my sofa, and I know I shared a video on when I took it apart. I just haven't gotten back to putting it together because I honestly don't want to buy a new sofa because I have the three dogs, and it's the reason why my sofa is trashed because they jump on the back of it and the cushions were coming off. So. I did buy some inexpensive material, not this week. I bought that a while ago, and I am still going to try and refashion my sofa. Maybe I can get another few years out of it, get it cleaned up, and life goes on. So anyway, today, um, my son, my middle son, is having a birthday, and we went to the Oktoberfest here in Homestead Falls, and I'm going to put a couple short clips at the end of this video just to share with you. It's a really fun thing. A lot of people go to it. In fact, they were saying that next year it's going to be like a national thing where a lot of the Donauschwaben come in and celebrate Oktoberfest. I'm sure there's a reason why they celebrate it in August but call it Oktoberfest, but I really don't know the reason. So if you know the answer, 
leave me a comment below and let me know. But anyway, we've been going to this for probably a good 10 years. And we always have a good time because the whole family gets together. And uh, my one little granddaughter, she dances the little German dances and they perform and they have the oompa bands and all those things. So it's a fun thing. But going with my low spend, no spend, um, I ended up spending $14 today. <clears throat> it was ten or $10 to get in, it was $5 a person. So I paid for the parking and then uh, I got my two of the little grandkids that were there, I got them each a soda and the rest of us had some German beer and a few snacks. So that's what I ended up spending today. Other than that, I have not, still not gone to the store. I haven't bought groceries. I haven't bought clothes or decorations for the house. I'm still continuing to cook out of my refrigerator, freezer, and pantry. And I plan on doing that as long as I can, even after the 31 days are up. I just want to see how long I can continue to do this until I actually have to go to the store. But like I said in one of my previous videos, I don't intend on depleting my whole prepper stash because I think that's important to maintain a food supply in case of emergencies. Because you never know, you know, a, um, a weather disaster could befall you or who knows, you know, the grid could go down and you cannot buy anything in the store if the grid goes down because everything is based on computers. So if that happens, you're not going to be able to buy anything in the store even if the shelves are fully uh, stocked. So that might be something you might want to think about. And even if you have cash, you know, they can't sell it if they can't put it in the computer. So that's another good reason to have a, a food stash. And you don't have to go crazy with it. Just figure out how much you want to keep on hand. Um, a good supply would be maybe three months worth of food. Some people like to do six months or a whole year, whatever you're comfortable with, and figure out how much each person um, eats and start building up your pantry with that. And then learn how to store the food so it doesn't spoil. That's a, a, a good part of it. But you can't really go wrong with stocking up on beans and oatmeal and, uh, you know, the very basic things. Flour, you can bake bread then, you can do all kinds of things. Uh, get some powdered milk. They also sell powdered soy milk. They sell powdered coconut milk if, if you're plant-based. Um, you can dehydrate your vegetables and you can make um, prepared um, meals in a jar. You can go with that and just store your food, get some oxygen absorber um, packets, stick them in there, and that food will last a long time. And then if you do another low spend, no spend, you can use up some of that food and replenish it with something fresh. So those are just some ideas. But anyway, um, that's all I have for you today. I'm going to post a couple little clips from the Oktoberfest and a couple photographs. So uh, I'll be back tomorrow with day 19 and I think it, we're going to be pampering ourselves tomorrow, you know, doing facials and all those things. So I think we could all use a little pampering and that should be a fun day. But in the meantime, I just wanted to say I love you guys and I wish you abundant blessings and I'll see you next time.
See you next time. Love you guys and thanks for watching.